don't give up, you gon' be on. Don't give up, don't give up, give up. Don't give up, you gon' be on. Don't give up, don't give up, give up. Greetings, redheads. Thank you for joining us in another episode of your favorite show, which is what? Red's View. Yes, sir. Please, before before we do anything, subscribe to YouTube.com slash We Authentic Network and also go to Brand Man Shine. That's right, Brand Man Shine's page, YouTube.com slash Brand Man. Red's View is on that platform as well. I have the lovely, beautiful Miss Brittany right here. Call me Sue. And we have the most honorable, legendary DJ PM <laughs> to my right, your left, she yet again. Ain't know that legendary <laughs> title. Legendary. Ain't know that legendary title. But boy. as you can see, we're looking good, feeling good, and with that, we have a lot to discuss. Let's do it. Man, it's a lot of topics. Like I didn't even think I was gonna have this many. It was just yeah. pouring in. Yes, sir. So let's let's start it off right, okay? So Aubrey Graham, which mm. is Drake. Um, Drizzy. He was was he in Europe or he the UK? In, he's so he's uh, in the UK right now on his uh, assassination vacation tour. Right. So that's why he's there. All right. So it's a person that uh, it's a rapper, right? Yeah. Who feels that Drake is a culture vulture? Right. Culture vulture. And he called him out about it. Too. Yeah. He called him out. Um, Drake feels a certain type of way. He uh, said something in the interview along the lines of, you know, I don't see how I'm a culture vulture right. or whatever the case he, is. Like, And that. he also said, what is a culture vulture? Yeah, yeah. And so, that, like, to like me... he didn't understand the concept. Right, he knows exactly what it is. But that's what white people say when they say, what is racism? You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I mean, because they always ask the question just to, you know... Right. But anyway, um, well, let, so let's talk about it. And previously, we've done an episode dedicated to culture vultures, yeah. but uh, we're going to go by definition. PM, what is the definition of a culture vulture? So, to me, a culture vulture is anybody who takes something from one culture or another that they're not a part of and, like, make it their own or profit off of it without, like, really giving credit or just due to that culture, i.e. Miley Cyrus when she did songs with uh, Mike Will. Yes. She culture vultured hip-hop. Right. And then as soon as... Like, her audience was like, nah, we're not really rocking with that, Miley. She ran back to country music. Exactly. Mm. So, this individual feels like Drake is a culture vulture because Drake, what he does is goes to different countries, goes to different cultures, yep. like uh, Jamaica, yep. uh, with the with the Jamaican music. Right. He did it hard on views. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. And what else did he do it on? Yeah, man. Like, he's done it with the UK. He's did it with the South, whether whether it's jumping on Black Boy JB's records yeah. or Migos early 21 on. Twenty One Savage. Twenty One Savage. Yeah. He's done it with uh, Caribbean music yep. with the whole, uh, you know. He even does it when he talks. So that's, that's what's really crazy. So let to me ask. So so what you're saying is he's not allowed to feature? No, it's not that he's but not I, allowed to feature. He's not allowed to take it and use it like it's. Him like it's, but I told you this was my one of my biggest issues with Drake. Anyway, Drake doesn't have a sound; he just mimics mm -hmm. whatever's hot. So my thing to, is, yeah. I don't, I do think that he's a culture vulture because right. I feel like Drake. We put Drake in our culture, right? But he doesn't represent us, right? Like I've never mm. heard Drake say no. Like this is like we're not. You know how like yeah, when yeah, even yeah. Though I don't want to use him as a. <laughs> T.I. Yeah, I knew that's what he was stands about. up for us. Yeah. Drake claims he's a part. Well, we put him as a part of our culture. Right. But shit, the head of the culture. Drake, when does Drake ever like stand up or say anything? He does for us. So that's why I would say he's a culture and, culture. And that's on a deeper level. Like, but just sticking to music and like the way that he talks. Like I say, like. When he say stuff like more tune for your head top, like come on dog, you yeah. you 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 he still he still like, he, like, he still styles, yeah. he does that, and you know what I'm saying, to his benefit, he does it well. Oh, he does it really well. Which leads to my next thing. Don't you know that a lot of people who are on the charts are actually immigrants? Right. Like Drake is an immigrant. Nicki right. Minaj is an immigrant. Right. Uh twenty one well, Savage no, is an immigrant. I don't know if Nicki is an she immigrant. She was born in Trinidad. She was she? Immigrant. Yes. Oh, oh wow. I, I thought that. Cardi B was, but I believe nah, nah, Cardi nah. B was born, I think in, she was born in the Twenty One Savage is an Bronx, in immigrant. Yeah, in the Bronx, my yeah. bad. Uh but yeah, uh Twenty One Savage is an immigrant. A lot of these people yeah. come from these different countries and take over our culture. And right. I think that we don't really realize it because the music is so French good. Montana. French Montana. Yeah, he's, he's an immigrant. Morocco. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Yeah. So you got to really pay attention to these people who come over here. Now, I'm not saying 
that immigrants can't make a living off of rap music. Right, because they can. They can. They are. <laughs> I mean, yeah. cl clearly. It's just, I feel like Slick, that push to the forefront. Yeah. And if we're not careful, what we created as foundational African Americans right. is going to be taken away from us. They and already took away R&B. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, most R&B artists right now that are in the mainstream are white. You know what I'm saying? Is R&B even still a genre at this point, though? Yeah. I mean, um, people man, will say that We got that it holding it down, but, I mean... <laughs> Amazing. Jacquees is holding it down. He's the king of R&B. No. They just, remember, I remember just watched TV just one, before I came here, and it said he was the prince. Of, of what? Of, of what? R&B. R&B is a genre? <laughs> no, hell no. So well, let's, nobody anyway. else is doing it, then I guess... So is Drake a culture cool. vulture? Absolutely. Okay, yeah. cool. Absolutely. Cool. All right. So, Redheads, comment. Let us know what you say. Kodak Black. Yes, sir. Kodak Black. We talked about him last week. He is disrespectful. He I disrespected Nipsey Hussle. Um, and he it was did. terrible. He did. But if you want to see it, go on the last episode. But recently. Well, he didn't necessarily. We, 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 we got to keep it moving, baby. We got to keep it moving. <laughs> so, about. Kodak Black. If you remember, he dis uh, he didn't diss Nipsey Hussle, but he said some disrespectful things about uh, Lauren London yeah. and Nipsey Hussle's death. Uh, now, T.I. was one of the rappers that stood out yeah. along with The Game and Gilly the Kid. Pause, though. Did you see The Game got Nipsey Hussle? I saw, I that, saw that. I saw that. But anyway, uh, along oh, with The Game, God. BG Knockout and others uh, went out, stood out and just was like, yeah, you got to fix that player. Like, right. you know, what's wrong with you, whatever. So Kodak feels like the industry is against him. And what right. do you do in pressure? You make a diamond, right? Right. So Kodak Black put out a diss record right. and it's called Expeditiously. I will say that T.I. previewed a diss record first. We, yeah, yeah. yeah right. But he put out the diss record called Expeditiously. Which is hilarious. Which plays off of uh, T.I. telling him, hey, you got to right. get on this Expeditiously. And T.I. uses that word all the time. He does. And yeah. it's a big word for, for T.I. Uh, so yeah, uh oh. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I heard the diss track expeditiously, <laughs> and I feel like it was at first I was half asleep when I heard it because okay. the good thing about doing Res View was people send stuff to me. I don't right. have to search for it no more because they right. want to see the you know my reaction. Yeah. And at first I knew it was jamming, right? But I didn't catch all the lyrics because he mumbles. But I heard what he said. He talked about Tiny. Yeah. Like, nobody wanted that ugly B-I-T-C-H anyway. She yeah, looked like a, a pig. Yeah. Which uh, is mean. Tiny didn't do nothing to She him. didn't. Oh, my god. But if gosh, you going for blood, man. you got to go for blood. Right. No. What I respect about rap is if you come with bars, we already said it. When yeah. it comes to beef, it There's ain't no ain't limits. No rules and beef. No rules. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, overall, I did like the diss track. Okay. Um, I thought it was... Created for him. Yeah. And it was flowing. It yeah. ride to well, me. Well, the thing is, Kodak Black can rap, though. Like, he yeah, knows he, can. He, he has flow. He does. He has flow. He don't talk about nothing. Okay, maybe But he got flow. Is. But he got he flow. He got flow. The dude can rap. Yeah. Like, he, I can't say he in a cypher, but nah. as far as just on the track <laughs> yeah, rapping. But on the track yeah. rapping, you give him a nice little. Some catchy lyrics. Give him a nice little bop. He, he can, he yeah, can he's bop. Right. He got a bop. He's great. Yeah, did you hear? Yeah. Did you hear the diss? I did not, but I'm okay. I'm gonna listen to it. All right, you check it out. Yeah, check out expeditiously. Expeditiously. Uh, so, did, listen you, to did you like it? Uh, <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie. When I first heard it, I hated it. Right. Um, but then I listened to it again, and it's cool. It's cool. Like yeah. I said, it's a little mean. I I'm actually surprised the gay community hasn't jumped on him yet, though. What did he say? He about? called uh, Ti son up. F A. Oh yeah, 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 oh, yeah, really? yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I'm surprised they haven't gotten on him yet. But it's probably because they don't really know who Kodak is, right? Because so, because he's still kind of underground. So he's mainstream and underground at the same time. Yeah. Go ahead. Besides Ti taking his stuff down out of the trap museum, like yeah. what else happened after that point where he? Made well, like I said, like tip, diss, right? tip previewed a diss, diss of Kodak. It was a verse yeah. that alluded to a diss for Kodak, and yeah. Ti was just looking like whatever, whatever. So right. that gave Kodak ammunition right. to oh, go okay. make a diss. And not only did it's he call silly. out T.I., he called out the game. Yeah. He called out Gilly the Kid. Yeah. And I don't know. He was just talking about everybody else. Yeah. But I thought that, listen, this is a good way right. for someone who's a part of this new generation to step up. And I don't know if anybody else could have did it like Kodak Black did. No, Black. it's not. It's not good. Somebody died and they're no, making no, 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 no. He's about talking take about away, music, yeah, all. take away no, that. This track isn't about Nipsey. Not, not about Nipsey. It's yeah. about that's what tip. it stems. It stems from, from that, but it's tip, about something like it's, it's different. It's really going at rap, and I like bars. Let me ask you this: Do you think Tip should respond? He's already responding. I would would a bar with verses. I mean, clearly he was rapping the lyrics already. Like you mean, should he respond with another diss track? Yeah. Well, he didn't. He didn't Absolutely, he called out his wife. You damn hold, right. Hold on, wait. So Tip was rapping. 
Kodak song? No, Tip was rapping. You know the video that. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not talking oh, about that. Talking I'm about saying, that? No. do you think Tip should respond Tip definitely, to this? If, if he calls out, Kodak went to a track right. and put bars out on right. the table. Yes, he has so to you respond. Think so? Definitely, the game is up to him. Yeah, uh, but you think Gilly Tip the Kid has to up to him? Yeah, Tip has to respond. You think Tip should respond lyrically? It's yeah. not worth it. It's Kodak. Like, but he just, still called him out. I, I I get that, but it's just when I was thinking about it coming over here, and I was just like, it's just stupid. Like yeah. that, it's all this stem from him making a comment. It's just. I yeah, think I think the realest bar. I'm gonna say this and we can move on. I think the realest bar in that song is when Kodak said, "Why are you trying to talk to me?" No one I ain't gonna listen. No one I ain't gonna listen. Right. I feel like Ti is wasting his time. I can't wait to hear That's the game. You, you know who will respond? The, the game. game will definitely respond. And Gilly the Kid probably is going to yeah, respond. No, nobody care about that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But Why? listen, but listen, the real hip hop fan. You're a real hip hop fan. Yeah. But I like bars, so I'm looking forward to Gilly the Kid. Come on, man. What's the last? Yeah, come no, on. Well, he I'm don't have hits. Do we know he ain't got Stop. hits. But what's he gave the last, him, what's he, the last relevant thing Gilly has done? Gave Lil Wayne his style. All right, let's what? go. Uh, oh no! Nah, don't. Laura Ingraham, I think yeah. that's her name. Laura Ingraham. Ingraham. Laura Ingraham. Since we're talking about, uh, right? Yeah. Nipsey Hussle, some disrespect. Right. Some disrespect, man. Laura Laura Ingraham, who works for Fox News. Now we know Fox News is racist. Come on, now. we we already we know that. that. Uh, she said something like, "Was it worse than Kodak? You think?" I think it was because she was laughing. Tell me what she said. So she was basically laughing at the death of Nipsey Hussle right. and the fact that. He quote unquote made a song right. saying F Donald Trump. Well, and when in reality that was a YG, YG song, song yeah. but I think Nipsey did he have a verse on it. Yeah. Okay. But on the, the video that was playing, it yeah. was all YG. Yeah. So basically she was like, All y'all Negroes look the same. Basically. And like this man died right. at the end and, of the day. And so, you know, so she didn't necessarily say anything disrespectful about him, but for one, they painted the image of something he wasn't necessarily first of all they played f donald trump this man got all these other songs that right. are actually his songs and motivational and instead and of inspiring. playing one of them they chose to play f, f. Donald, donald trump, trump. on purpose first mm -hmm. of all mm -hmm. second of all in the video because they showed the video on the news mm -hmm. it was only yg, YG. It, was it nip wasn't even in the video nope and third of all she was laughing as at that. while talking about it, it. was a mockery Right. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's where the disrespect it's comes Fox. from. Yeah. yeah. It's Fox. So F Fox News. Facts. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like Resview is going to be Resview, but F Fox News. Facts. Definitely. Uh, let's keep going on talking about Nipsey Hussle. Okay. Uh, Jermaine Dupri. <laughs> I don't know why he did this. Some right. things should be kept quiet or just homeboy talk or yeah. homegirl talk I or whatever agree. like this. That's the downfall so, of social media though. Right. And Joe Budden said it. Jermaine Dupri piggybacked off of right. it. The fact that Nipsey Hussle, they think that he's Jesus because he died at 33 and that he helped people and was in the streets. Like they tried to make him similar I, to, you know, Christ. I, I, can, I can understand. Can you? No, yes. Hear me out. Well, if you're spiritual. I don't, I don't know. Really. But anyway, I can understand why they Aren't would. Aren't you a preacher, son? You are. I wasn't saying like you weren't. But no, I go saying, ahead. You can but I can, I can understand why someone would try to compare him or say that he's Jesus. Why? Based off the, you know, the obvious things, him being 33, 33. and the way that the crowd, you know, like when Jesus died, right? The masses. Yeah. His funeral. Right. Right. But I mean, and, and the way they could have named a bunch of people about that, though. Hold on. Let's, no. let's hear her thought. Though. Go, I go ahead. I'm sorry. Keep going. Now, no disrespect. I do not think that Nipsey is Jesus, but <laughs> I can understand why they would try to compare what? such a... What he was right. doing on what earth. He was, right. Yeah, what he was... And, and he's dead now, and we're still talking about it, and we're seeing, still seeing how he's leading people. Right. Because that's what Christ did. Right. And I don't, I don't necessarily think that they truly believe that he was Jesus. Right. But, you know, just made the comment. Right. I, and I think that they wanted to... Like, that's something... You remember how Kodak slipped up and said what he did on live, right? Right. I think that Jermaine Dupri probably was just in the moment. And the fact that someone else said it, Joe Button, who talks... Who's just like a, a right. podcast what we do. And I think that Jermaine Dupri thought it was going to be a ripple effect. Right. You know what I'm saying? And people were going to share it and share it, and it backfired. Right. But what were you about to say? I mean, so... I, I'm a roll with what Bridget said. I think that they did it more as a comparison, yeah, than like legitimately believing thinking he that was he was Jesus. Jesus. If they believe literally that he's Jesus, then they're idiots. 
<laughs> but because they be, they believe in like Jesus is coming back. So, mm. I mean, I can see how conspiracy theorists I can't would say no. I can see because how of the comparison. Well, I can see why idiots would say it. Right, but I see that comparisons like a lot of people think like when people I come believe up, in signs. People do, and, and the fact of. I think it was like the number of people, his right. age, I mean, that's the things cool, they but, were doing. Okay, but when Martin Luther King was assassinated, he had a big crowd at his funeral. Same he thing. wasn't 33, was he 33? Yeah, No, he wasn't 33. Mm-hmm. But, but my point is, he still had a big crowd at his funeral. He still leads people. I think the main thing dead. was 33. I feel like that. What? That's a coincidence, man. Again, <laughs> I'm gonna say. And then the stuff that he was talking about before get, he died. I, get, I think I, that's why. I get all that. And he was he was talking about a lot of great stuff. And because I don't want to disrespect Nip, not even talking, he I'm was a, doing. And because I don't want to ever come off as disrespecting the late great Nip, I'll just leave it at: if you think Nip was Jesus, then I would question your intelligence. Well, people will question your spirituality because Mus- I, I ain't finna go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk about something else, okay? R.P. Hold real, on, wait before we all- go. In, before we get off Nip. Did y'all see that Reggie Bush and his wife started a GoFundMe? Oh, yeah. For, his, for Nipsey Hussle. Yeah, but I think it was, when I went and watched it today, it was sweet on their intentions. But it his was, family shut but it down. The, yeah. But the family had already told him not to do oh, it. Oh, for real. I didn't he know did that they told him already. Right. They told him not to do it. Yeah. And he did it and anyway. he did it anyway, yeah. Well, so, he had put up 10000 for just for right. him. And, and, and I thought that they was a dope up, thing they to do. Tried, it was, they tried it was to, sweet. Hold on, before, let me explain it. So, they were trying to raise money for Nipsey's children. Right. And Nipsey's family rejected it. Right. And they did it anyway. So right. that's what it was. Which again, their heart was in the right place. But if if I die and you try to do something for my children that I don't have yet, but but my family you says sure? I'm positive. All right. But my family says no, we straight. Then that's what it is. But you know how people, you know, like that's just like asking somebody like, you good? And they're like, yeah, I'm good. But you still you still want to just kind of give it to them yeah. anyway. You so know? Nip. So Nip's family has released the information that Nip has trust funds set up. For yeah. All Which his I mean was common sense to me. To me look too. Look how look how much he took care and of himself they say he owns and his family. All his songs. Or something. He, he owns, owns his all masters. his masters, yeah. so they'll get paid forever off his off music. Of that. Yeah. He's there I straight. I think it's generous though. Like I really. It was, it was a good thought, but again. Once his family tells you no, we straight. Then that's all well, it you is. You should leave it at that. Leave it at that. Mm-hmm. If you want to do something, still start a scholarship in his honor, or something like that. Instead but of don't doing start it. a GoFundMe trying to make his kids look like they need a handout when his family is already. And I think, but I think that's 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 somebody's perception of it. Like it doesn't like you need a handout. They it lost, does. They it's, lost their father. It's because and of, that's so hold on. tragic. The, the problem is in the black community. We're so used to seeing black no people funny. not have death insurance. Right. I yeah. mean, uh, life insurance yeah. and not having insurance and enough to take care. So we think it's the right. norm right. to create crowdfunding right. campaign. No, and more than likely, I'm going to say this so we can move on, Nip probably had a million dollar insurance plan as more, smart more, as he is. More than likely. Yeah, more than like, likely. stop. He man. already had that. So, uh, RP to the late, great Nipsey Hussle. Yes, Hussle. sir, RP. All right, let's go to Anderson Pack. Yes. Uh, for those who don't know who Anderson Pack is, I first heard of him on Dr. Dre's Compton album. Yeah. And uh, when I first heard him, he was so unique and different. Like, it's hard to call him an R&B artist. I feel like he's just music. Right. He's just an artist. Uh, his album came out. Uh, oh, I forgot the name of it. Ventura. Huh? Ventura. Ventura. Thank yeah. you, uh, producer Shante Hughes. Ventura <laughs> came out. Not Ace Ventura, but Ventura. Yeah. And I was, I'm a fan of it. I wasn't a fan so much of his last album okay. that came out because I felt like it didn't live up to the hype. Right. But if he put this album out during the time, like last year, I think right. the other one came out. Let me tell you something, man. Those songs, if you just riding in the car, if you just want to be in the gym, right. all the things to do to keep you active, right. that album just rides, man. Right. For I, real. I, I love the album. Uh, I wouldn't listen to it in the gym because I need something a little more turned up to get me through. <laughs> man, but I could listen to R&B I listen, and all kinds of I stuff. I listen to it while I run, though, because it's like steady flow. Like It's definitely like... It's cohesive. It's definitely like road trip music or like Saturday morning you got you want to clean up your house but you don't want to have to keep changing the music because yeah. some whack comes on. Mm-hmm. It's one of those albums that you could just press play and let it ride and all let the way through. Ride. It's real groovy. Real easy to Have you ever to. heard of Anderson Beck? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm going to put you on some good music, girl. <laughs> Anderson Pack, please, please tell her she needs to listen to Anderson Pack. She, Some, my girl, listen, wrong with her. my girl Brittany's been going uh, on a social media cleanse. Yeah, all she right? listened to is City Girls, and uh, 
I've life never in my life listened to City Girls. <laughs> She's right. Ever. She's right. I saw her uh, listening to life Trina. Skin Trina the yeah, other day. Life skin All right. So uh, this is an important thing that we forgot to talk about last week. Lil Nas X. Yes. Uh, he has a song called Old Town Road. Yeah, I heard that. Um, and it's when it debuted. It debuted on the country charts. Yes. Billboard number one actually number one yeah Billboard removed it because they didn't feel like it met the criteria of a country song right which was messed up because right. what is the criteria of a country song versus what's the criteria of a rap record R and B record right because I feel like people like Post Malone don't make traditional rap music they don't but it's on the hip hop and R and B chart absolutely you know what I'm saying so for yeah. Billboard to do that to me it was that it wasn't white enough and what's crazy about that is we created country music right. If you don't believe me, redheads, go do your research. Black people created music, but country music for sure, we created that. Absolutely. So it was backwards for them to do that. I think it was messed Somebody up. Somebody felt some kind of way that it was number one. Yeah. So, and music. then the crazy thing is, Billy Ray, now did Billy Ray decide to jump on the remix or did they get him on there purposely? I, I don't know the specifics of it, but Billy Ray Cyrus is on the He's remix. actually on it. Now, he actually spoke out about it or something. Like he, that. yeah. Now, this, it's good. Yeah. I do like he hearing him on there. It's cool. Yeah. I don't feel like it was necessary, though. I feel like if he did it out of the kindness of his own heart to say, hey, look, we're not going to discriminate against this kid. Because the dude yeah. is a kid. Yeah. Um, he was born in 1999. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's a kid. Yeah. So if he did it for that, then that's really dope. Um, but if he did it for any other reason, then I don't like it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the song is like... And, and just to play devil's advocate, I can see why Billboard did I do take too. it down. I do Because too. it does have a lot of heavy bass yeah. and like a it's real, not the it's not the traditional country Of what music. you're used to hearing. But. However, like yeah. you said, Post Malone's White Iverson wasn't traditional rap. Exactly. Neither is Wild. Exactly. Neither is none of... Post Malone, other records, yes. but yet he still he's on the R and B charts, he's and they call him a sync charts like a, all the time. Like, come on, man, y'all got to be real, Billboard. Right. So we got to be specific. We can't, we can't teeter totter that line. We can't. Do you like that song? I actually do. Old like the Town song. Road. And I'm yeah. I do like it. Yeah, it, it goes hard. Yeah, I hate it. Thumbs down to Billboard. <laughs> yeah, I hate it. You hate it? <laughs> yeah, I hate it. Amazing. I, I played. Was, it, I wasn't listening. I, I wasn't playing. And, but I and like shout it. out to that young fella because I heard. That he calls himself Lil Nas X Dude. as an adult to Nas and DMX. I thought so, it was, I heard aww. it was because of something else. I didn't hear DMX. But yeah. that's, that's what's up though. Yeah. So uh, shout out to him yeah. if, if that's true. Speaking of DMX, I had the pleasure of attending DMX's concert. How was it? It was here at yeah, the last yeah, saw Tabernacle. It. It was My dog dope. DJ Stunner opened that up. Shout out to DJ Stunner. It was dope. X came. They said he was supposed to perform. At, yeah. It started at 8, but he didn't. I knew. I heard he didn't come out till like 11. Till like, yeah, damn near. Yeah. I, I, I knew that though because yeah. I'm used to going to concerts. But DMX looks healthy. Yeah. He got a pop belly, but yeah. hey, man, I'm. I'm just so happy. I heard he killed it. Though. He I killed heard the energy was crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like, he didn't even have to have enough energy. His music is enough, and yeah. you could just feel it. Yeah. But anyway, um, let's talk about Oprah. I want to give a thumbs down to Oprah, to um, her. because and if this wasn't a show that we were trying to get syndicated, right. I'd give her something else. Right. That's what I was saying. <laughs> I'm like Oprah, Oprah like I will work with you, Oprah, but thumbs down to you I'm on this. Myself. Um, <laughs> so y'all know that the Never Leaving Never Neverland yeah. documentary came out. And it tanked pretty much. Yes, uh, it, very good. It, it was poorly received. They tried their hardest to break down the legacy of the king of pop, Michael Jackson, the king of music, Michael Jackson, and they just couldn't do it. I don't know about the king of music. He, Let's stop at pop. He's the king of music. <laughs> so uh, without him, Jay Z wouldn't be rapping. Okay? I just, yeah, all right. Jay Z so, is the king of music. Man. Right. I'm just but saying. I, mean, I believe I, Prince I, is the king of music to who? me. Prince. That's amazing. You know the the person that actually plays instruments and writes his own. Oh, music. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, Michael, Michael Jackson, Jackson wrote, his wrote his own too. music. Not all of it. Not all. Not all. Not all. What but song? He really reaching. Are you serious? What song? Ben. Wow. Don't you know he called him and uh, Quincy Jones wrote Thriller together. And Beyonce helps write her music too, right? No, but Michael Jackson really did write, bro. Okay. You're Go just do your taking research. Bro, yeah. stop. No, let's get to the important thing. <laughs> All in right. Hand. So Oprah... We can debate that. Oprah has taken down uh, her interviews right. with the alleged victim right. of Michael Jackson's... <clears throat> with the liars. Yeah, let's the liars. What they, are. they are liars. They lied under they lied. under Yes. Which was already presented beforehand. And I'm so glad. I, I had a feeling this was not going to be well received. Right. I, I just knew it. Right. I knew it was going to be. Michael Jackson isn't R. Kelly. Right. 
Like R. Kelly Don't was on actually on video right. doing this type of stuff, but they really tried it and they right. they failed. What is your thoughts about that? I'm glad that I. I will say I had some reservations about it at first, yeah. but I love Michael Jackson, and I don't like the fact he's dead. He can't defend himself. Don't try to ruin his legacy. I'm Oprah. I'm disappointed in you. Thumbs down. Well, the, and the reason I don't like it the most is because like there's no new evidence to support. That's this. what I was looking at. Like too. like. This is all just old stuff. It's the same people that went on the stand who said he didn't do anything to them, exactly. and now they're saying he did. So I, I just don't like it. It was in it was in poor taste, and not only that, but there's plenty of people who really are out getting molested, exactly, and really did get molested and really did survive. You know what I'm saying? Sexual abuse, sexual abuse, rape, all that. Who's proven? That we that she could have did a documentary about because her thing was it's not about Michael Jackson. You know how she talking. Yeah. It's not about Michael Jackson. It's bigger than that. It's about opening the world's eyes to this stuff. And if that was the case, then do it on somebody that's been convicted of this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't do it of a man who's the FBI did several investigations. They did it over into ten years. Ten years and of never found, found one anything. piece of evidence. But we know that those. I mean, oh, I was about to say those. I said, <laughs> but I. We know that Oprah did this. I don't feel. I feel like she was forced to do it. Oprah can't be forced to do anything. Whoa! I don't know Whoa. about that. Oprah. I don't no. know about that. She does that. what she wants. No, that's not true. You really think so? That's not true. I Why? Because she's a billionaire. No, because she's Oprah. She's been doing what she wants. No, she hasn't. No. Oprah wanted to do this documentary regarding. She didn't do the documentary. She interviewed. She helped promote it. Right. Well, no, 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 no. no. She exactly she produced it. it. She, yeah. she exactly like, produced she it. it. She put the money. Oprah up for Oprah wanted to exactly like I just and then you said it was in poor taste. Like if you, I don't think you guys watched it. Watch Absolutely it? not. But no. even on there, they were talking about how happy they were when Michael Jackson died. Who said? Oh, the, the mother the, the of the of the people. Like, but see, that's what I'm that like. That's accurate. that's just ridiculous. That's dumb. That's Even ridiculous. Aaron Carter, Nick Carter's uh, brother, said that they used to hang around Michael Jackson all the time and nothing happened. Like, didn't Aaron yeah. Carter have a song? Yeah, yeah. That's uh, how I beat Shaq. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Aaron Carter used to be the stuff back in the day. What are you talking about? Did he have a song? I mean, what other song did he have? I mean, I don't know besides that one. That's funny, though. I yeah. Don't know. So let's, exactly. <laughs> that's how I be Shaq. That's how I remember he that one. He has some songs back in the day. I, I just don't know. Nobody check him, though. Aaron nah, Carter. He's he out, were. like, the same time. No. Little Sammy and all that. All no, that. Aaron Carter actually had, like, a little time limit where he, he was, like, that's, the but, popping. See, I think that was around the time when Backstreet Boys Well, y'all were older than this. me yeah. anyway, they out. so. Yeah. But anyway, let's move on. Let's talk about some movies. Uh, Guava Island yes. is a movie that stars Childish Gambino, D Danny Donald Glover, right. and Rihanna. Danny Glover. I know, right? <laughs> right. I, I saw the movie, and I didn't really like it. Uh, you, it was cool. You go. I will let you go last since you... Yeah. It was, it was present. I mean, you know, it, it looked like an extended music video. Right. Uh, it was under an hour, and I think that people are more so caught up in the fact of who's in it. Right. Exactly. Versus like, okay, you know, the, the story just didn't appeal to me. Like, it, you know, like it, it was cool. Okay, so it wasn't bad, but you know. Okay, Rihanna acting skills were very good, by the way. She did a good job She acting. did, I agree. Even though she uh, didn't say much. Quick question, who's a better actor, Rihanna or Beyonce? Rihanna. Rihanna. <laughs> I just yeah. I just wanted to see what you Rihanna. 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 Well Beyonce did good in uh Cadillac Records. No, absolutely not. not. No. Oh, she, did. <laughs> absolutely. she did good as uh Etta? Absolutely. she played Beyonce in that movie. Alright. No, anyway. <laughs> Go ahead, Guava Island. Okay, Rihanna, her acting skills were on point. So I watched this movie. Um I was really, really trying to be open-minded about it. Now, <laughs> I will say Donald Glover, because when he does movies, he likes to be called Donald, right? Yeah, yeah. that's because that's right. his real name. Okay, so... <laughs> 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 Instead of child... Okay, but his vocals are amazing, yeah. by the way. He's like, super talented. I mean, man. man, talk about a true artist. Yeah. He, he really is. And that. I love, like, I love... I think it was, like, an extended video. I love, like, the dancing in it and everything like that. But... The message, the like overall story, just what, like I, I was, I was literally on the edge of my seat, like, okay, is it really gone, gone it? off? Like, yeah, what were you trying to convey? Like, what I didn't get it. Yeah, so 
contrary to my He's two the one that people. got us to watch yes, this mess. I love the movie. I love oh. everything Are about you it. Serious? Yo, yo, Donald, childish, whatever we calling you today. <laughs> I loved it, bro. The movie was super dope, super artistic. What was the setting? Rihanna, it was in Cuba. It was actually shot in Cuba. What time period was that? Nah, I, think I mean, it was day. like it was it was fictional. Like oh, okay. so you didn't pay attention to the movie. I did. You and did because if it you went did, over you, my head. You, that's it how was, I know you didn't pay attention. No, but Donald Glover. Super anyway, right? This is my turn to talk. Okay, okay? Yeah. producer. Push them up, please. Thank you. This is my turn to talk. Come on, man. Listen. Tell the, us about this whack movie. The movie was super dope. Rihanna looked amazing. Of course, she's Rihanna. Rihanna's acting was good. Yeah. Uh, the guy who played Red was good. He did he's, good. He's a professional actor, too, though. Yeah. He's from he's from the UK. Yeah. Um, I can't think of his name, but he's like he's been in Nin, stuff, too. Nin, and then, like... I, l- I like when artists infuse music with movies that's like... You dope. like musicals? No, I don't like musicals. <laughs> that's the thing, though. Mm. But I like when artists infuse their songs Oh, with yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did but I that don't part. like musicals. Mm. I don't. Like, so This Is America, well, he added that in there. That yes. was, I like, that's dope. Dope. Here's the one thing I don't like, and I don't... and. He does this in everything. I don't like when he bucks his eyes. Yeah, boy, he was that doing is, some that eye is so, bucking. That is so weird to Ooh, me. Oh, Lord. I was like, yeah. God, Lee. I, that's what first I yeah. said. He was bucking the eyes in that movie. Like, boy. and everything, he's like, but, yeah. besi- but besides that. It looks very Sambo-ish. Yeah, and that's what I don't like about it. Yeah. But, I, but the thing about it is, is he doing that on purpose? Because, you know, he's like really like yeah, artistic. artistic. Yeah, So is he doing that on purpose? I believe so. Or does he not realize he's doing no, that? He, he, he has, doing if purpose. he's an actor, yeah. you have to realize your He's right. smart. Is, man, that dude's super talented, yeah. man. I loved it. I loved the... So I loved the like plot and the... and the, well, That was trash. I, no, I love the plot. The what? Plot Tell me trash. what it was about. So basically, Red was trying to control the island and the way he did that was by taking everything that they enjoyed from them unless he was giving it to them like even uh childish gambino's character like he was a really dope artist in the movie right but he only wanted him to sing about how great red was hmm. which is trash man no it's not trash think about it but the movie was really to me was about oppression and was about how if you control the media, then you control people's minds, and then you control the people. Maybe it should have been longer. No, it, it like shouldn't it have so been longer. Sudden. That's what I liked about it. It was so straight to the point. tell me about the part where he, the boy was had dreams of coming to America. Right. And then he said, like he, he told him, this is America. This is America. Yeah. Yeah, he was telling him. Because he was basically just telling him, you can, like, you don't understand. Like, the only reason you think America is so great is because Red has tricked your mind into thinking that Guava Island is this oppressive place when it's really not if we liberate ourselves. But it was oppressive, though. And because because he convinced them of that. That's that's the whole point. And at the end of the movie, he got shot. And at died. The, so at the end of... So, right. But why did Red sh- kill him? Because he didn't... Because Red said you can't play a festival yeah. because if you do, nobody Nobody's will go, go to work, work the next day. Right. And then he killed him... And nobody went, went to, work to work anyway. anyway. But, so he made him a martyr. He basically made him Dr. King. Right. He basically made Tupac, him Tupac. Nipsey. He made him Nipsey. Yeah. He made him Biggie. Yeah. Which was, I mean, yeah, I feel like it was too simple. And me personally, I felt like it, it should have been longer. Yeah. I wanted to see more of that talented stuff. Yeah. It was, now, don't get me wrong. Like the choreography. Yeah. Childish Gambino, Donald Glover, talented, super yeah, talented. Super dope. Yeah, I feel I, like I Rihanna. All the actors and actresses did a great job. I just, you know, it was it was all, it was okay to me. I loved it. I didn't like the plot. If, if I had to rate it, I'd give it a B plus. Amazing. What would you rate it? That was a C plus. C plus. Yeah. I don't know. You can't. All right, so we got one more thing to talk about. The Lion King trailer. Yes. Now, of course, the 90s kids. Nas! Nas! Did he say Nas? I thought you were a Jay-Z fan. But anyway, uh, we're excited about this movie. It's a live action movie. Yes. Um, Don't and, bring your badass kids. And we saw for, we saw the trailer. 80s babies and 90s babies. <laughs> we saw the trailer, the second trailer for it, and it got everybody talking about one particular character, yes. which is Scar. Oh, my God. Scar's face has the scar on it, but yes. he looks... 
like he has rabies yeah. and has a disease. We ain't going to spend too much time talking about it. I'm glad you said it. rabies because I was going to say another disease, but it might have been offensive. What? Yeah. It's on, we'll talk about it off. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. But yeah, um, you know, I'm excited about seeing the movie, period. How you how you feel about Beyonce playing Nala? I haven't even heard her um, say anything, yeah. really. I feel like she can't mess up a voiceover. Yeah, she shouldn't be able to. Because <laughs> she messes up <laughs> every other movie she's in. No, she was good in Gold Member. Come on, man. This dude playing that. She was good and upset. Now, all right. We got to do a wrap-up on this one. Are you dead? Are you serious? She wasn't bad, but before, was we before we get she out. She was good at Carmen. I have two things. That's the only thing. Yeah, <laughs> Carmen was good. Two though. things to talk about really quick. Okay. Okay? Wendy Williams finally, um, in other words, kind of pretty much said that she is divorcing her husband. Right. Mm. And I love to see Wendy Williams be vulnerable uh -huh. and be normal. And she said, everybody's embarrassed to talk about certain things in their life. And I don't, Wendy, I don't think you should be embarrassed. You know, although you do talk about other people's business, it, it this is that's how you get paid. Right. And like I respect I respect it. I think it's really dope. Uh move on from this man. He is no good. Right. And I'm I'm happy for you. So would you leave your man if he had a baby on you? Absolutely. Wow. Well, no, I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna be led by the spirit of God. <laughs> that's a right, thing. And one, one more thing. Homecoming Beyonce will be out tomorrow. So yes. I'm what's really, that? <laughs> Come on! Like, no, nah, I'm serious about that. What's Beyonce. That? I wish it came out today. What, so we what could is it? it? Like, tell me. She's gonna. It's gonna uh, document her leading up to her Coachella. Experience. Oh, I got you. That's I got what you. we talked about. I'm oh, sure yeah, more yeah, yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, on it as well. Dope, so dope, yeah, dope. Shout yeah. Out to Beyonce. I'm excited to see it. I know. I'm not excited. I think I said. I think I saw because uh, she had a lot of HBCUs. I saw FAMU. I think I saw Jackson. Probably. Jackson State, Jackson State University. University. Jackson State, yeah. yeah. Not, not, not just Jackson. Jackson. Yeah. Get it right. right. It's a lot of Jackson. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, so that has been today's episode of Res View. Make sure that you cop the album, which is Once, Two, We yes. Are Not the Same, Part Two. That's available. That's my album available everywhere. Uh, you know, it's going to be right here. Sure, he's going to put it. <laughs> anyway, you know where to follow me is at J A Y R 3 D. Where do we follow you? Follow me on Instagram at Call Me Sue. <laughs> that was fast. Where do we follow this young man right here? At T H E E D J P M. That's at the D J P M. Also, uh, www.thedjpm.com. Subscribe, like, share, comment. This is Resview. We signing out. Don't give up. You gon' be on. Don't give up. Don't give up. Give up. Don't give up. You gon' be on. Don't give up, don't give up, give up Don't give up, you gon' be on Don't give up, don't give up, give up Don't give up, you gon' be on Don't give up, yeah. give up, give yeah. up, give up I know up. you got doubts, but get to the bag Just follow the dream and stick with the plan I know you get worried, I know you get scared But it take that risk there. The sky's the limit. Don't think it's a ceiling. Cause you ain't really living.